A few weeks ago, I proposed a budget plan that looked for savings in every area of government. The administration recently released their budget, doesn't even seem to take our debt problem seriously, while the House Republicans have published their own set of spending proposals that are good, but not good enough. Everybody says they're for balancing the budget or tackling this debt. That's easy to say, but when it comes down to acting on those words, no one is seriously addressing this enormous problem. Unless we begin to cut spending and begin now, we will have even greater problems to deal with down the road. This past election cycle was about the deficit, the mounting debt, and the size of government. And I'm not quite sure official Washington has taken heed. Our national debt is reaching levels nearly equal to what our entire economy produces in one year. Under the president's budget, that could happen just next year. When this does happen, there are some estimates that say it would reduce the rate of our economy's growth by 1% and cost a million jobs a year. That is what $14 trillion worth of debt does to an economy. 1% loss of growth and a million jobs a year. Our debt is killing us. The Obama administration presented a budget that will spend $46 trillion over 10 years, never attempting to balance it or even coming close. That tells me that they didn't get the message from the last election. We are now on track to triple the debt since President Obama has come into office, meaning our national debt will have tripled in just eight years. The deficit this year alone will be $1.65 trillion, the largest in our history. The president is calling for a spending freeze on just 12% of the budget at already inflated numbers. This is just not enough. How are we going to pay for that $14 trillion in debt? We can tax people more, but as you can tell from the Tea Party movement, most of us think we're taxed enough already. The other way is to stick our heads in the sand and just keep borrowing. Everyone wants to be cautious about acting too boldly and possibly facing the political consequences. So what do we tend to do in Washington? Kick the can down the road. That's why I voted against the latest continuing budget resolution brought before the U.S. Senate this week. The Democrats don't seem to want to take any real action in balancing the budget. And while I applaud the Republicans for moving a step further toward needed cuts, the proposed cuts are simply not enough. The continuing resolution spends money at a rate that still adds $1.5 trillion to the debt this year, and at that rate we'll never get our nation's fiscal house in order. Just since 2008, the deficit has grown by 200 percent, and this resolution cuts only 6 percent of that. This plan does not allow us to avoid the coming debt crisis. The administration's 10-year plan will turn a $14 trillion debt into a nearly $27 trillion debt. These numbers are mind-boggling and pose a real threat to our country. The president's own secretary of defense has even said that the number one threat to our national security is our debt. It's out of control, and I don't think the problem has been fully grasped by either side. That's why I propose significant cuts now and will propose a fully balanced budget in the coming weeks. I intend to start a conversation on how and when we will balance our budget as the people are demanding. Thank you, and God bless America.